All right, this is going to be part two of the previous video, Hellcatting the Alice or improving the frame's comfort by upgrading it to the Molly 2 straps. This is for the modern Molly 2 straps, not the uh, 1990s era Woodland straps. Uh, there is some slight differences. It's, it's very similar, but there are some minor differences. So this one is set up in the quote-unquote long back configuration if you're a taller guy. If you're a shorter guy, you are going to attach it with the straps slightly lower so that these bottom two straps here are on the bottom half of the frame. Uh, and those go on just like you see here, uh, wrap around the sides. But then you have the issue of it wanting to slide up and down. That's where the strap here comes in effect. Now in the short back configuration, if this was down lower, you would be able to wrap around the bottom like you see here but in the long back configuration you can see that it's too short there. The way that you get around that for the long back configuration and that's not an official term I'm just making up shit right now uh, but for like your longer guys your that one run your straps higher simply wrap this around the cross member here I'm trying to do this one handed uh, excuse me for my awkwardness here but you're going to wrap that around and run it back through and then pull it tight uh, as, as you can. I can't really get that, but you get the gist of it. You're going to pull that tight and that's going to keep your straps, your shoulder straps anchored to one location instead of sliding up and down. Uh, but pull that down as tight as you can. Now, your straps are attached for all intents and purposes, but you still have these load lifters. So with the Molly 2 system, your load lifters connect to the frame with this piece, which I've taken off and I put a metal buckle on, which I'll get to in a second here. But this piece goes on here, and then this metal slides into a slot corresponding on the Molly frame, the plastic frame, and you go from there. Now, this metal piece is too big to go into this slot here on the Alice frames. Now it may on some that have been loosened up over time, but what I did is remove this piece, go ahead and lay that off to the side. The Molly straps normally will come with this piece, uh, which you can make yourself out of a one inch tri-glide and some webbing uh, if you don't have access to a pre-made one. Uh, but this is used for attaching. This will come with a female buckle, which I have laying here. And that is used for attaching the salt pack to the top of the large uh, Molly rucksack. But what we're going to do with this one instead is we're going to run this into that strap there, uh, into that slot there. We're going to run the, the female buckle on. And yeah, let me do it this way. And again, I'm trying to do this one-handed, so excuse me. Uh, but then we're going to run that up into the tri-glide. Tighten it down and then run this back through. So then it'll end up looking like that. And then from there, we can simply attach that buckle that we had put on the load lifter and now we have attached the load lifter to the frame and whenever we cinch it down this one's tightened down all the way but we can loosen that up and you get the idea of what we're looking for and that's pretty much how you do it uh, the bottom half of the straps goes around just like on the Alice straps nothing fancy there but yeah that's how you complete the Hellcat mod the benefit I find with this being a buckle uh, with the Philby style um, anybody that has used the Philby will recognize this you can simply undo that buckle and then your bag your Alice bag will slide right on top and then you can rebuckle it's much faster to take the bag on and off than the older style Hellcat you had to run your load lifter around the frame and then weave it back into a ladder lock like this it was much more time-consuming uh, this one you simply use a buckle wham bam Afghanistan you're done so again long back configuration short back you just undo these two bottom straps and slide them down to the bottom half and then rewrap this strap around the bottom cross member long back you do it as so enjoy